Makaja. Oh, my Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes from the land down under, if you know what I mean. I'm not talking about Australia, no. I'm talking about Africa. And you know, a lot of strange things goes on in Africa. And I don't think we have to say uh, exactly what they are. But a lot of strange things, just like in this story right here. Now, when I first heard this story, I was blown away. You feel me? I was literally blown away. I was totally appalled. In other words flabbergasted in some of my people over here in the western countries how we would say i was very flabbergasted i was taken away when i seen this young man like he's in the prime of his life 23 years old and out of all things he decided to do now and let me get this uh clear first now i know love don't have no uh restrictions but even though it should because people can use that to justify anything that's why we have so much chaos and confusion going on in the world these days but at the same time a 23 year old man with an 87 year old woman i wouldn't give a damn if she was white black blue or purple but what can make a man 23 years old want to be with an 87 year old woman and yes this is grown folks talk so let me go and get that disclaimer out the way so i'm gonna give you just a few seconds to get those precious little bad sweet ass kids out the room so us grown folks can have a talk and uh you just got a few seconds right now because, man, this story is deep. Go ahead. Now, I hope you all got the asses out the room by now. If not, tough double D, Ted. If it's not a double D, like I said, we'll take a D, and today we'll take a B and a C. But anyway, we have a guy by the name. We just going to call him Jack. You feel me? We just going to call him Jack because he's a jack of all trades. And we're going to call uh, the 87-year-old grandmother. She's just a golden girl. So we're just going to say golden girl. Okay? So we talking about Jack and the golden girls. And I'm not talking about Estelle Getty or Betty White, if you know what I mean. But anyway, what can make a man 23 years old Decided to go be with an 87 year old woman. A lot of y'all might be thinking, but damn, Trez, why I be listening to you so you can tell us. Okay, no shit, Sherlock. But anyway, the guy basically says, and I'm gonna catch, keep it real. You know, I'm gonna keep it real. I think we, you know, we way past all that now. We family now, so we can really talk one on one, if you will. So he says basically the reason why he decided to get with this old ass woman. Let me just keep it real. And no offense to my old, my old subscribers out there, my older people, even though most of you all ain't no damn 87. But at the same time, like I always say, you know, if there's uh, if, if if just because there's snow on top, a little gray hair doesn't mean it's not far down below. Can I get an amen? Somebody said it. That might be way in snacker stand them three people that watch but anyway just because you see a little gray on top does not mean it's not fire down below it does not mean their loins do not still yearn to be touched and rubbed on kids i get another amen from somebody thank you very much but anyway so you got to be thinking one damn thing either or the 23 year old is crazy as hell or desperate or what you call very thirsty or the 87 year old woman is damn near senile uh, dementia, or she just looking for love, and you know, like the old school country uh, song. For those of you who uh familiar with the song, looking for love in all the wrong places. And I don't know how the hell that popped up in this conversation, but this is what happened when you go looking for love in all the wrong places. But what I what I will do is read a snippet from this story and give my opinion. Surely, as we go, twenty three year old man proposes to his eighty seven year old lover, eighty seven years old. Still backing that ass up, still throwing it down in the bedroom. That's what I'm talking about. You ain't never, you ain't never too young to get sprung. I mean, uh, too old and to be bold. Let's go on. Now, according to comments on social media, the young Nigerian, Nigeria, decided to settle on the granny because of the disrespect from his fellow black ladies. Let me say that one more time. According to comments on the social media and also the guy himself, the young Nigerian decided to settle on the old golden girl granny because of disrespect from his fellow black ladies. Now, why was they disrespecting this young man? This young man ain't nothing wrong with this young man. He remind me of T'Challa off of Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? Look like Killmonger cousin himself. You feel me? They, I would rather uh, die than be in bondage. That type of shit. But anyway, what can make a young man in his prime go... 
the other way. Turn to the dark side, like if you will, like uh, Anakin Skywalker when he turned from the Force to the dark side. What can make a man do this type of mess? I don't know. Either Granny got a hell of a cookie on her, yes. A hell of a cookie. Or Granny got some damn teeth that don't quit. You know them teeth come out, too. So, you know what I'm saying? She might be gumming him down. Who knows? But anyway, there are many people who doubt the catchphrase, love has no formula. But not for a 23-year-old man who has found the love of his life. In an 87 year old lady. That's just like me. Found love in my life. In an 87 year old lady. I'll tell you one damn thing. If, if I did. She'll, she'll be the finest thing walking this side. Of, of, of the uh, Colorado mountains. Mountains if you mean. When I say mountains. Uh, the mountains. You feel me? She had to be bad as I don't know what. You know. Let me, now let me just go and clear this up also. Now. You got some women out here. Who are above 60 and 50 years old. Still holding down there. Would make some of you girls in your 20s. Uh, look like chumps. And your 30s look like chumps. Man, you got a badonka donk for days. You know, you can't even get all that ass in the camera. You feel what I'm saying? My hand go way over there. That's how that's how they built. So they got some they got some older women that would shut these women down. So I'm not, don't sit up here and think that I'm shitting on the damn older women. Or I'm talking down on them. Because they'll get all in my comment section. All in my emails and stuff. We're going to beat your ass when we see you. We got your back. We had your back. But you can't keep dissing us Trey you know what I'm saying you got all kinds of people that watch you so I have to make sure I say that also this is just a jokey joke like Martin Lawrence say let's continue now having grown tired of his contemporaries giving him heartbreaks and disappointments the young Nigerian man opted to go in for a woman more than three times his age not twice not 10 years but Three times his damn age boy I'm telling you boy you gonna got you somebody with a lot of experience now she 23 you can add about 423 is almost an 87. You know what I'm saying? Might be a little bit over, but at the same time, damn, you couldn't get nobody a little closer to your age, a little, uh, well, uh, more than half your age. You got to get somebody to triple your damn age. I don't know what the hell is going on in that room, but like I tell you this, grandma might know what the hell she doing while we up here playing these games and stuff, while we up here talking. I bet you grandma know how to, uh, I know, I know she know a little something, 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 something. Now, in a series of photos that have since gone viral on social media, the young man has seen putting a ring on the finger of his old lady. Yes, putting a ring on it. Like Beyonce said, if you really like it, you got to put a ring on it. He really liked it, so he went and put a ring on it. Now, don't get jealous out there, some of you all talking about, well, I'm in my prime. I'm 21, 25 years old. I can't get now, Ninja, to put a ring on me. Well, damn, you might have to mature about 60 more years. A man might come along and throw a ring on you if you're still living that long. Let's go and continue. Now, in a separate photo, the pair is captured passionately sharing a kiss and obviously enjoying the moment you got to enjoy every moment and grandma like this look i ain't got long left baby you feel me now i know we ain't gonna ride this ride out together because i'm already knocking on heaven's door 87 years old and you 23 you just now starting out so i know i'm gonna be gone way before you but while i'm here can you do me one favor before i go like what's that can you rock my world? You know what I'm saying? Just rock me till you can't rock me no more. You ever had somebody rock you till you just can't be rocked no more? I'm sure you have. Now, according to the netizen who shared the story on Facebook, the 23-year-old groom decided to marry the 87-year-old lady after growing tired of being disrespected by his fellow black ladies. And a lot of guys say this all the time. Well, you know, the black women disrespect us and the black women say the black man disrespect us. I just be like, shit, you're just disrespectful to each other. You just got to find a neutral ground and just, just come together. But see, that goes into a lot of other things why that is to be, and that's not what this video is about. But at the same time, I hear from both parties. They'll, they'll be out in the comment section, black women this. The, the black women be like, black man that. And I just be like, Whatever, you feel me? I don't be knowing what the hell to say. I just be tongue-tied, if you will. But, at the same time, I mean, maybe this guy was so heartbroken that he just gave up on a young nookie. Maybe he was so heartbroken, he said, to hell with that young fresh, fresh baked cookie. Give me one of these cookies that been out here, sitting out here for a year or two. You know what I'm saying? Give me one of the old chocolate chips, these macadamia nut cookies that been out here for two or three years. It ain't got to be fresh baked. No, I like my cookie mature, if you know what I mean. So that's probably what he was thinking right there, because... How else can can you explain it? I mean, damn, he got a mature cookie. Now, while some between and uh some now some between them believe that true love could exist between the old and young, others opted out and said the young man was just a gold digger who was taking advantage of the old lady. Oh Lord, now we got men being called gold diggers, but you already know, hey, if if, if that's the case, I mean, damn, I mean. It's wrong, true enough, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? They look happy as hell. What the hell I'm supposed to say? That he should suppose he supposed, he shouldn't get with her or whatever, you know, just because she got a Benz or a Lexus. Maybe he can't get him no Benz or no Lexus. 
I don't know this man's financial situation, but at the same time, I know one damn thing. It's going to be a lot of Bengay in the room. It's going to be a lot of old ointment in there. You know how you just go in some of these old folks' room and stuff? You smell like ointments and stuff, all kinds of arthritis and uh, rubs and stuff. You be like, what the hell is going on in this room? You be scared to light a cigarette or a match. Now, you don't know if all them fumes going to make a spontaneous combustion and, and blow your ass up. Let's go and finish your story on out now because it's crazy. Now... But after all is said and done, these two folks look like they are really in love and wouldn't mind at all what anybody else says. And that's what it all matters about. If I'm talking to somebody right now, like the preacher said in church, maybe I might be talking to somebody right now, but I ain't finna tell you to come to the, uh, to the, uh, to the choir. I'm not going to tell you to come up here to the altar so I can lay hands on you. No, we're going to lay hands right through this doggone YouTube, through these cameras and this network, this fiber optic network that we use. So if you find yourself with somebody who's a little older than you, look at that joker right now and see and see for yourself, do you still see the beauty inside of them? Because like they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Now he could be 23, she could be 87, or hell, she could be 110, he could be 50. The point is, you know what I'm saying, long as they happy, we shouldn't give a damn because one thing about living in this world, you will see any and every damn thing. You might even see a UFO one damn night. Who knows what you might see? You might see the little white one with the little uh, black light in the middle of it anyway. But, um, so long as they seen happening stuff, you seen her still getting down doing that little step right there, but she was moving, wasn't it? He just as happy as he can be, boy. He, he more happier than, uh... No, no, I'm not going to say that. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this video. And if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share the video. And also, if you want to comment in the comment section saying how you found the, the love of your life. You know what I'm saying? What's the what's the old blues song? I, I, I found love on a uh, two-way love affair. Some shit like that. But I, I can't even think of the damn song. But anyway, let me know what you all think. And like I say, just because it might be a little fire... Uh, a little snow on top does not mean it ain't fire down below. And for those who mature enough to understand it, you know exactly what I mean. You might have a little gray hair, but you still know how to work it. That's all that matters right there. You got one life to live. Enjoy your life. So if you want to go out there and get you somebody older, as long as you're grown, because grown folks grown. But true enough, it's a difference between being too damn grown, just like in this case. But at the same time, you never know. They might be having a time of their life right now. Might have her damn touching her toes right now. Anyway, y'all have a great day. And go find some, y'all somebody who's going to love y'all just the same, who ain't scared of you. got some men out here who won't even kiss you, put a ring on you, yet alone trying to confess to the world they love you. So, you know, I, got, I can't do nothing but help respect the man, whether he's gold digging or not, because he's, he's putting himself on the line. Big time. I'm out.